Marilyn Monroe has fascinated the world from generation to generation. Her larger-than-life superstardom and humbling struggle with depression and mental issues has made her a relatable superhuman we all admire but we also empathize with. The iconic dresses she wore and what she did in them fascinated us all decades after her mysterious death at the tender age of 36. One person who has taken Marilyn Monroe's obsession to a whole new level is Kim Kardashian. Here are some obvious times that Kim has copied Marilyn. Hello there, my name is Jojo and you're welcome to the channel. Kim Kardashian has said she loves doing iconic-ish. Because it's iconic and I love to do iconic shit. But no one expected it when she showed up at the Met Gala in Marilyn Monroe's iconic Happy Birthday Mr. President dress. I mean the actual dress. And that's because Marilyn Monroe is smaller than Kim. And a dress that has been around for decades must be in a vulnerable condition, right? Added to that concern, some Kim Kardashian critics said that Kim is simply not on Marilyn's level and should have never been allowed to wear such an iconic piece of America's history and pop culture just because she's rich. Some accuse Kim K of using such an important dress to fan her seemingly unquenchable thirst for fame. Videos and photos of when Kim Kardashian was literally squeezing herself into the delicate dress caused further outrage and fans looked on in horror as her team persisted on squeezing her butt into the dress that was obviously several sizes smaller. What if it rips apart? Let's see how much not. Oh my god. Yeah, can we use that tie and tie it and keep it open? Think so. Oh, what kind of touch this? Well, just that tie. That tie yes. comes with it, right? Yes. yes. Like, what if we did that and then put a fur over? That's perfect idea. We're gonna you know tie. What I mean? Yeah. But like, oh my god. <gasps> okay, you can open the door. <laughs> oh my what? god. Oh, we can maybe cool. make it. Kim could not fully get into the dress even after losing several pounds through a crash diet but that didn't stop her from wearing it to the red carpet as she came up with the genius idea to simply leave the zipper open and wear a fur coat over it. She had a replica made to her size and that was what she wore for the actual event. She only wore the real one to the red carpet. When the dress was returned to Ripley's Believe It or Not, the company that loaned her the dress for free, eagle-eyed fans noticed some missing crystals and ripped on the hook but this is what Ripley's had to say about that. Kim Kardashian wearing the happy birthday dress has been hotly contested but the fact remains that she did not in any way damage the garment in the short amount of time it was worn at the Met Gala. From the bottom of the Met steps where Kim got into the dress to the top where it was returned the dress was in the same condition it started. I know you might be asking was it worth it? Well, Kim Kardashian did not pay replace, believe it or not, to wear the dress, nor did the company pay her. What happened instead was Kim made a charitable donation to two charities in the greater Orlando area on behalf of the company. While the backlash for the happy birthday Mr. President dress was still going on, Kim Kardashian revealed that she actually wore Marilyn Monroe's shimmering green dress that Marilyn had worn when she won the Best Actress Golden Globe for the movie Some Like It Hot. Kim Kardashian revealed that she actually accessorized with the actual Golden Globe Award that Marilyn Monroe won for the aggravating fans. Frankly, I think Kim Kardashian would do anything to have her name mentioned in the same sentence as Marilyn Monroe. The next time Kim Kardashian will copy the silver screen icon wouldn't be long and it would be in a Balenciaga pink dress. Check out how the bust line looks exactly like Marilyn Monroe. The only difference is Kim Kardashian did not accessorize with the crystal jewelry and she wore a black glove instead of the pink ones that Marilyn wore. But there is no denying where the inspiration came from. Kim has copied Marilyn several times but she wouldn't be the first Kardashian or the last celebrity to do that. Without Marilyn's physical presence to be worshipped, the best way for her fans to show admiration is to copy her. As it is popularly said, imitation is the best form of flattery. My name is Jojo Damap. Have a wonderful day.